Yo, what's up guys? Jaywalk here. Welcome back to the channel. Sadly, you guys read the title of this video correctly. Um, helmet mounted action cameras such as the one behind me have finally been banned from professional motocross racing here in the United States. Can't say I'm surprised. As you guys know, last year they were banned from amateur racing and it kind of didn't really make sense that they would be banned from one and not banned from the other. So. It was only a matter of time before professional racing got the axe as well. Hate to say it, but kind of saw this one coming. And of course, initially I was pretty bummed because we got some really cool footage from the Pro Nationals for the last two years, but you gotta look at it from a perspective of safety. Um, I think the AMA and MX Sports have uh, rider safety in mind and they feel that having a foreign object on your helmet could possibly have some negative impacts in the event that you go head first into the ground which sadly kind of happens pretty often in motocross so although it's a bummer definitely an understandable rule and we have no problem innovating and finding new ways to get the GoPro footage because let's be honest guy the POV footage from the Pro Nationals um, have done really really well you guys really seem to like them and uh, I think it's a cool perspective showing you guys just how gnarly it is. Um, showing you guys the pro national tracks firsthand and just showing you the chaos of the start, the first lap, battling it out with some of the best guys in the country. Also statistically speaking, view wise, the videos have done really well so you guys obviously like watching that. So instead of saying, oh well, we can't do GoPros this year, you guys know me, I'm gonna innovate, find a new way to get some POV footage for you guys because I love it, you guys love it, and I think it's just cool for the sport. So, we've been doing some testing, finding some new angles, new places to mount the camera to get some good footage for you guys, and I think we finally came up with the perfect solution. Now, just for reference, this is my normal helmet cam setup back here. You guys know I'm a big advocate of the chin mount, so much so that I even went ahead, got a 3D printer, and started designing my own mounts. But obviously now, this is no longer a viable option at the Pro Nationals. We can still run it on practice days, just not at the races. And so I took the camera, I was trying to find all these different places to mount it on the bike. I tried the handlebars, I tried down by the radiator, like a video that I had made previously, but nothing looked as good. And um, having it on the handlebars is actually very distracting. Um, just having like a big block sitting on your, on your crossbar pad is a little bit weird. And I was getting pretty frustrated because nothing was turning out the way that I wanted it to and I was like this close to just saying screw it We're going all third person this year, but that's when I remembered we got a very unique and special camera in our arsenal a couple months ago The insta 360 one x2 what makes this thing special is that it's a 360 degree camera Which allows us to get some very very unique footage that we aren't able to get with a standard action camera If you guys missed my last video on this camera, I'll throw up a little bit of footage This thing is pretty much like magic um, the 360 degree view allows you to do some really cool stuff such as what you're watching right now makes it look like a video game uh, you can look in all different directions you can mount it in some really cool areas and pan the camera in post later you don't have to worry about aiming the camera and then worrying about you know when the bike moves where's the camera going to be pointing if you turn your bars or if you lean forward or whatever you don't have to worry about that with this thing because it captures everything around it and then later when you're in editing you choose what you want the camera to be pointing at and that is what is going to allow us to get some really awesome footage with this thing mounted in some pretty unique areas which of course i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video and show you what that looks like if you guys are interested in picking up one of these cameras there's actually a sale going on on amazon right now which i'll throw the links down in the description so if you guys want to pick one of these up now is the time to do it i actually also have an affiliate code with them which will save you some money as well you might decide you need one one of these guys so uh, links down below if you want to go check that out so right now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of footage that we got with this thing and then I'll show you guys exactly how I got that so roll the film
Yo, that's pretty nuts, right? It almost honestly looks just as good as the chin mount. Like, if I didn't tell you guys that I was running a different setup, you might not even notice, which is exactly what we're going for. But surprisingly, this was not even mounted on our helmet at all. It was, in fact, mounted on a chest mount. Now, you guys may recall in previous videos, typically I do not recommend the chest mount with regular action cameras for a couple of reasons. The main one being that regular action cameras only pick up the film that you're aiming them at. And as you know, when you guys are riding, your body is moving around a lot that's why the chin mount works so well because when you lean forward you pan your head upwards so you're still looking down the track when you lean backwards you pan your head downwards so that your head is relatively stable the whole time but let me jump on my bike back here and show you why a chest mount normally doesn't work very well every time you lean forward now your camera is down behind the bars and it's pointing straight at your gas tank and I'll be honest with you guys you're leaning forwards a lot while you're riding a dirt bike you may not realize it until you put an action camera on the chest mount and actually watch the footage back but it normally just doesn't turn out that great. However, with the 360 degree camera and toss this thing on here, let's fire this guy up and show you the magic of this thing. So you guys can see as I'm standing upright, you're getting a good view. But the beauty of this thing is that even as I lean forward, you guys can see the footage is still pointing straight forward. Same goes for if I lean way backwards. Like I'm going up the face of Larocco's Leap, hanging off the back. You guys can see that the footage stays locked onto the horizon. It doesn't start pointing down at your gas tank or pointing up at the sky. It stays perfectly level. And that's why running a 360 degree camera on the chest mount is actually super, super viable. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the elastic straps on these chest mounts are a little bit weak. And when you're riding a motorcycle, you are flying all over the place. You're hitting gnarly bumps, seat bouncing stuff, going through braking bumps and whatnot. And uh, as you can see in this footage right here, it kind of left the camera footage a little bit shaky, especially because I had my under protector under this. So it's not like it was conformed to my body. It had a hard surface that it was kind of bouncing and rattling around on and making a little bit of noise. Maybe they make better chest mounts than the one that I have right now, but as you can see, this thing is just a little bit loose. So I went back to the drawing board, did a little bit of engineering and got my camera mounted on my trusty old Alpine Stars A1 chest protector. And this is the footage that I got from that. As you guys can see, this footage is absolutely buttery. It looks so good. It doesn't have the little jitters and shaking around of the first one. And I was actually able to mount the camera just a little bit higher as well so that it's not getting so much of the, the handlebar movement. And in my opinion, this looks great. And I'm gonna be more more than happy to post footage of Pro Nationals from this angle. So hallelujah, guys. We're gonna have POV footage from the Pro Nationals this year. No need to worry. We're gonna get those awesome qualifying practice, first moto, gate drops, all that sort of stuff for you guys. All thanks to Insta360 1X2 camera. Now, if you guys have this chest protector, I'll real quick show you how I got this mounted on there. So it's pretty simple, actually. I just took my chest protector here and luckily, it has all these vent holes cut out in it already. I took one of the standard J hooks that is supplied in the Insta360 bike mount bundle, which you guys can find on their website. I'll link that down below. Went ahead and cut out a little sticky pad that they provide and cut it out to fit the back of this thing. Decided where I wanted it on here. Stuck it on like so. As you can see, I positioned it perfectly so that these holes are right on either side of here that I can run some zip ties around this because obviously I wouldn't trust just this by itself. So let's go toss some zip ties on that. Now to mount the camera. And now we have a super solid mount. As you guys saw, the footage turned out great. Now, of course, you guys can run this on the outside of your jersey, just like so, call it a day. It's actually pretty discreet, especially if you have a black chest protector, it kind of sticks out because this one's white, but if it's black, I wore it all day at the track at Super Coops and no one even noticed it. Actually, when I posted some footage later, someone commented and they were like, I didn't even see you wearing your GoPro. When'd you get this footage? It's not gonna look all goofy at the Pro Nationals. I'm gonna feel perfectly comfortable wearing this up there. Sadly, I don't have the name or number on the back of my chest protector which is a requirement so I got even a little bit more sneaky and I actually took one of the old jerseys that I had and cut just a little slit in it so that I could still wear my chest protector under my jersey and just have the camera poking out of a little hole in my jersey so it was actually pretty sick like I said no one even noticed I was wearing it so 10 out of 10 this is definitely the mount that I'm gonna be using at the Pro Nationals this summer not only is it great for me at Pro Nationals but I'm sure you guys like um, getting action camera footage of your races as well. And of course, like I said last year, helmet mounted cameras got banned. 
So this is actually a great option for you guys to film some of your races as well. So I highly recommend you guys look into the Insta360 ONE X2 camera. As I said before, there's a sale going on right now. Links to that and the affiliate links down below to help you guys save some cash if you wanna pick one of these up so that you guys can go ahead and film your races this summer. So I'll finish this video out rolling a little bit more footage. You guys will have to let me know exactly what you think. Is it as good as the chin mount? Is it better? Um, I posted a little snippet on my Instagram and you guys have been giving me some really good feedback. Some of you said it even looks better than the chin mount. And uh, honestly, in some aspects, I kind of agree with you. I think it gives a much more realistic sense of the speed that we're going. It probably looks unnaturally fast for you guys right now because you're so used to regular GoPro footage, which in my opinion makes us look a lot slower than we're going. I think this angle is the first time that I've watched footage back and actually felt like I was going the same speed that I do when I'm actually riding the dirt bike. It catches so much body movement. You can see the bike stepping out sideways and stuff. Um, you guys always say that my GoPro footage is really smooth and you feel like I never make mistakes or anything. And that's not really the case. Normally the chin mount just doesn't pick up the mistakes and the sketchy moments because you can't really see what the bike is doing. But I think this mount is really cool because you can see every time the back end steps out, um, you can really tell how big the rollers are and how hard I'm hucking it. And you can just see how much effort is going into riding and uh, you can really get a sense of the speed and the physical exertion. So I think for just daily riding that the chin mount is still probably my preferred option, but I'm more than happy to run this thing at the Pro Nationals. I think it's gonna get some really cool footage. It's definitely gonna capture just how gnarly the Pro National tracks are and uh, I'm really excited about it. So Insta360, Killer job, highly recommend you guys go check it out, pick one up for yourself, and uh, I'll finish this video out with some footage. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts, comments down below, let me know if you pick one up and uh, send me some of your footage, and uh, keep your eyes peeled for pro national POV footage coming soon. Thank you Insta360, peace out guys, we'll catch you in the next one, later.